y'all. I'm hanging out in the only clean area in my entire bonus room. You should see the hot mess behind you, but that's not why we're here. I'm here today to chat with you about Art Scouts. Art Scouts is coming up at the end of this month, which is June, in case you didn't know what month we were in. And we've been getting a lot of questions about Art Scouts. So I thought I would put them all together in one little video titled Frequently Asked Questions and see if I can help uh, get rid of any questions or doubts or thoughts that are in your cute little minds. So let's get started. Thing number one, what are you even talking about? What is Art Scouts? So Art Scouts is a professional development for art teachers or anybody who likes to create big messes with little people. It was started by me, Laura Lohman of the blog Painted Paper Art, Ginger Pacer, who blogs at Paintbrush Rocket, and our very good friend and amazing art teacher, Jennifer Alvarado. We got together and we were talking about how there seems to be a real lack of hands-on professional development for art teachers. For art teachers to really dig in, create, and go home with fun lessons that they can really dive right into the school year with these great projects with their kids. In Art Scouts, which is a two-day amazing event, we will be sharing with you our favorite clay projects that don't require a kiln. Also our favorite uh, felting projects, weaving projects, painting, and collage. If it's something you can make big messes with little people, that it will be covered at Art Scouts. Another question we've been getting a lot of is, where is Art Scouts? Last year, we had Art Scouts in two separate locations, in Ohio and in Tennessee. This year, we've narrowed our focus and we are having two separate sessions. That way you have some options with what works well with your summer schedule. And we are having both of those sessions at Montgomery Bell State Park, which is a beautiful facility 45 minutes east of Nashville. Make sure that you pack for some beautiful park experiences. There's kayaking, canoeing, hiking trails, and more. We strongly recommend you bring the family as well. Is Art Scouts sold out? So I don't know where this rumor came from, but Art Scouts is not yet sold out. Our first session is filling up pretty fast. Our second session has some more spots available. So if you plan on coming with a group or buddies, then I would strongly recommend that you sign up quickly, especially for that first session since those spots are going pretty quick. But as of yet, we are not sold out and we would love to have you join us at Art Scouts. Another question we've been asked is if the lessons that we are sharing, our projects, will they only be geared toward elementary school? No. These projects will be from kindergarten all the way up to upper middle school. Ginger is actually going to start teaching middle school this year, so that's where her focus is. And Laura also teaches fifth and sixth grade. So our projects won't be just geared toward the elementary art teacher, but the middle school art teacher as well. So Art Scouts is being held at Montgomery Bell State Park's Convention Center. It's a convention center hotel. So our convention will actually be on the first floor and a lot of the hotel rooms are in the same building right above where we will be leading our session. So a lot of folks have been trying to book a room online and they've told us that the online it says that the rooms are sold out. That's simply because the hotel is holding a bank of rooms just for Art Scouts. So to book your room, you'll need to call the hotel, not book online. Make sure you mention Art Scouts. Many of the Art Scouts have started connecting with one another to do a little bit of ride sharing or even to split a room. We strongly encourage you to do that. In fact, Art Scouts has a Facebook page called Art Scouts in which you can post anything you like about when you're arriving, if anybody would like to rent or share a car with you or perhaps a room. It's a great way to connect with other people who are bound to become y'all BFFs for life. So feel free to join Art Scouts, not only to stay up to date, but connect with other Scouts. A lot of folks have been asking, what should I bring? Well, I will tell you this, June, at the end of June, in Nashville is usually pretty flipping hot. So dress for the weather, and then there's always the possibility of a pop-up thunderstorm or rainstorm, so just be ready for that. However, we don't anticipate that you're going to be leaving the convention hotel much, since you're probably going to be staying there and working there as well. So just be prepared for really warm weather. You might even want to bring some comfy shoes to take a hike, or even a swimsuit as there is a pool, or even for you to go kayaking or camping. So think outdoor gear, think comfortable clothes, and think the fact that it's probably going to be an inferno in Nashville. 
If you're traveling from out of town, then I would strongly recommend that you take a day, maybe even two, to really explore the area. Not just the Montgomery Bell State Park area, but Nashville, it's so much fun. I would strongly recommend that you see if there are Nash trash tours available. That's my favorite thing to do when I have folks visiting from out of town. It's a hot pink school bus that for a couple of hours drives you around downtown Nashville and gives you a fabulously hilarious tour. Since you'll be downtown, walking up and down Broadway, which we call Honky Tonkin, is a lot of fun as you can go in and out of the bars without a cover charge and listen to live music at each one. Of course, the Frist Center for Visual Arts is a great museum. Cheekwood Botanical Gardens is fabulous. And there's also Centennial Park, where we have our very own Parthenon. It's way better than the one in Greece, because it's not all crumbly. So there's tons to do. I would strongly recommend if you're coming from out of town to really carve out some time to spend an afternoon or even a whole day or more in Nashville. All right, and now the last but probably the most important question of them all, how do I register? So you got me, where do I sign up? So all you have to do is go to paint brushrocket.com. That's Ginger's amazing blog. If you go there, it's probably a little easier to do this on your laptop. In the upper right hand corner, it will say Art Scouts 2017. Click on that and it will bring you to a schedule of events. You can really see all the things that we'll be doing and how to register and pay. We are so excited about Art Scouts this summer and spending a portion of our summer creating big messes for little folks with you. So see you guys real soon and have a fabulous summer.